Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can set the new alarm clock. Now this will be obvious to people of a certain age, but if you've never ever had an alarm clock like this, it can be a little bit confusing. Now, this might be a little bit difficult to see, but you can see you've got the um, hour hand that's pointing just past 12, and we've got the minute hand that's at quarter past. And then we've got this extra hand here. This, that is the alarm hand. And basically what, what we do is we wind the alarm hand to the time we want it to go off. Um, and it's basically another hour hand. So at the moment it's 20 past 12. So if I move that alarm hand there to say um, but halfway between the 12 and the 1, the alarm will go off at half past when the minute hand gets hit. Well, basically, when the uh, when the the hour hand gets to gets to the alarm hand. So what you got to do, what you got to do, you got to uh, put it in your hands, the alarm, and you'll see in the, your your tool tips it says turn on. So we left click. Um, don't know what it will be on console yet, but we will have to see and set the alarm. We hold it. Now this is the bit that's confusing because when you hold it. You're looking in the middle of the screen and you can see the status wheel sort of scrolling around. And you think, oh, right, okay, so what's that doing? That is a direct um, correlation to where the alarm hand is on the clock. And in fact, if you look at the clock in my right hand, you can see the alarm hand spinning around. And if you look, you know, look quickly look back, back and forth between the alarm hand and the correlation to the status wheel in the middle, you see that they're a direct correlation. So you've just got to spin it around to, so let's say I want to set the alarm to go off at two o'clock, I would stop there. There we go. Um, and what you can do is if you want to have a good look at it, if you go to your inventory, you can see the fact that it's set there. It'd be nice if you could set it in here, wouldn't it? But you can't, so there we go. So this alarm is gonna go off at about 10 past two. That's gonna, going to go off there now the other thing is that the time in your alarm here we go that's better isn't it the time in your alarm uh, your alarm clock directly correlates to your server time as well so you know exactly what time it is which is fantastic isn't it i may well do a video about whether you can use this as for navigation as well um, when you look at the sun but there we go so that my friends is how you set it so let's go back to that again. And basically, when it goes off, it goes off with a ringing sound. So you press and hold your left mouse key, and the center um, status wheel that's spinning around correlates exactly to the alarm hand, which when you look at the clock, it becomes obviously, oh yeah, it's spinning around at the same. So let's, let's set it so the alarm would go off at 10 o'clock. Here we go, stop, there we go. And then if we have a look at it in our inventory, you can see I've just I've slightly missed it, so it would go off at ten past ten. So the hour hand would go have to go all the way around here till it hit the alarm hand, and then it would go off. So there we go, my friends. That is how you set the alarm, the new alarm in uh, Daisy one point one six, and going forward, I'll do one. I'll do another video about the uh, when we get the console version of it as well, because um, that will be probably be slightly different. Um, but um, you kind of get the gist. All right, that's enough from me, and I'll see you again soon.